I was gonna blame them, but I'm gonna have to uh, actually take responsibility there. Oh, I see a rider just went flying. Oh my. <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. There's way too many, too many cars trying to fit into one area. Let's take the. Uh, actually, I was gonna say let's take the outside here. On. Uh, all right. Oh, this looks like a pretty insane. Actually, I don't think this is a hill. I think we're gonna be letting off right here. Yeah, because it just swings over. Man, if I would have held it full throttle there, we would have died. And a, a part of it is not being able to... Oh, ow. <laughs> Hello, YouTube. Photo Gaming here for you guys. My first impressions of MX versus ATV All Out. This is the newest installment in the long-running MX versus ATV games. And yeah, I want to thank uh, THQ for sending this over for me to try out. I've been a big fan of this series. Now, admittedly, I have not really played much of this recently. Uh, I didn't play Encore. I played just a little bit of Alive. And I don't know, Alive really didn't hit it for me. It seemed like it was, I guess it was probably because it was uh, early on, it was a really cheap game and then you could buy a bunch of DLC for it. And I didn't really like that. So I kind of haven't played one of these in a while. But I must say, this feels pretty good. This is awesome to be back. It looks like pretty much everything's, or at least most things are there uh, that I remember from the old games. So what we're going to do today, we're going to test out this game. We're going to do a little bit of free ride. We're going to do some of the races, try to test at least most of the vehicles. Uh, not every vehicle, but every type of vehicle. Uh, do some races with those. And overall, just kind of give you guys my first impressions of this game. Now, if you want to see more of this on the channel, uh, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Maybe comment below. Let me know if you want to see some more. Or just let me know what you think of the game overall. But yeah, uh, let's go ahead and jump right into this. Alright, so we are in one of the free roam environments. I believe there's four of these, if I'm not mistaken. There's like a compound. Uh, kind of reminds me of a little bit of the James Stewart compound they had in Alive. Uh, not exactly, but it's just like this motorsports complex, basically, uh, for dirt bikes. It's got, like, some national tracks. Looks like it has some super uh, cross-style tracks. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we're in this kind of coastal area here. Uh, there's a desert, and there's, like, a mountainous region, one, two. It has, like, a forest and stuff. Uh, so, yeah, uh, definitely quite a few uh, free ride events. I haven't gone through them all. I just kind of looked at one or two of them. Uh, this is kind of my favorite here. I just like the way this looks. Uh, now, as far as bike handling, I am not a professional, uh, one of your professional Supercross YouTubers where they know everything about the bike. I just remember, like, the basics. Like, I know how to preload. I know how to use the clutch. I know how to lean. Uh, but I must say, handling-wise, this is actually really nice. I pictured this being a lot more arcadey as far as just the way the bikes would float around. But I'm happy to say, it feels like the bike actually has quite a bit of weight. And I really enjoy that, so it's a little more predictable. And I think it's a, it's pretty forgiving, too, as far as the, uh, the jumping. Uh, you don't always fall off if you land awkward. I'm pretty sure there's some settings we can tweak. Maybe there's a simulation mode or something. Uh, we can probably make this a lot more unforgiving. Uh, but I'm actually enjoying it right now. Now, question is, on this free ride course, is there any ridiculous jumps that we can hit? Uh, let me go see if I can find something for us to kind of... Actually, is this one? Uh, that wasn't too bad. That's actually kind of a normal jump there. Oop. Uh, let's see. I'll find one here. Ah, here we go. Is that a cruise ship way down there? I believe there's a cruise ship over there. Ah, that's cool looking. Uh, one thing I'm a, a bit disappointed by, I don't think I saw anything licensed as far as the bikes and stuff. And oh, look at that. That is actually really cool looking. Yep, that's cruise ship. Oh, let's go down here by the shoreline. Uh, I don't, it doesn't appear that there's any licensed bikes here yet. I know Alive had them, but they didn't come with the base game. So if you're wanting to race in a Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, stuff like that, KTMs, I don't see them at the moment. Now, that doesn't mean that they're not in the game. I just don't see them. <laughs> I mean, they very well might be there. I haven't really dug into it too much. This is like literally, I've been playing this for about 30 minutes now. So, pretty new. Oh, that looks like, a, if I turn around, I think I can hit that. I do like the uh, the rider effects, though. I do like how, the dirty, how dirty the rider's getting. And it does change depending on like where you're at, if it's sand or if it's dirt, mud. 
Like right now, we're dealing with a lot of uh, sand. You can see kind of a layer of sand on the uh, rider. Uh, as far as camera angles, you got the follow cam, you got the slot cams, uh, first person, which I don't think we could do this cam. This will make me sick. It's actually vibrating with the bike. That's crazy. Uh, and then you've got, of course, your uh, typical chase cam. Hold on, let's go ahead and see if we can get some speed here. We're gonna go where the bike shouldn't be right now. Let's go ahead. Launch off. Actually, go up the side here. <laughs> oh, 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 hit the lip. <gasps> oh, dear. Oh, oh, ow. Yeah, I really should have pulled back. <laughs> wow, I thought it hurt. Yeah, this looks like a, another little national track over here. Oh, let's get up this hill. Oop, there we go. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks like we're on another little natural, actually, I would say unnatural track here. Yep, definitely. So yeah, we're gonna go uh, probably test out some actual racing here. Now, I'm typically a bigger fan of the national tracks. I know a lot of people like Supercross. Uh, we might try a little bit of Supercross, uh, but we're gonna start off with the national tracks first. All right, so I do really like the menu system here. We're actually still in free ride, but as soon as you hit pause, you can freely go to your events. So you have like your series events, I'm assuming all this is going to earn us some points. That way we can do uh, new customization and new bikes. So we're going to go to single event. So we've got Supercross, which, by the way, they have an impressive amount of tracks for Supercross. Uh, I don't know if some of these were maybe ported over from uh, Encore, because I know Encore had like a big Supercross pack come out. But very impressive as far as the amount of Supercross tracks. Uh, national tracks, same way, a ton of them here. Uh, you got open cross, which are these UTVs. Uh, those are pretty awesome. I wonder if you can, uh, I'm pretty sure you can still mix them where you do like ATV versus UTV versus like MX. Uh, you got your waypoint races, which is going to be your free ride. Just be point to point. Freestyle is still here. And then of course, free ride. All right. So let's go ahead and go to national. Hmm. Where do we want to go here? Actually, this uh, Thunder Crest. This looks pretty cool. Let's go to here. All right, so let's go, we'll keep them on medium. Let's just go three laps here. We'll go with the 250 class and uh, let's do this. Oh, that's so cool. We're still, yeah, we're still in free ride. You can see our ride over there to the right. Sweet. All right, here we are at Thundercrest. Uh, this is a national event. Here we go. How many riders are there right now? Is it 16, 12? Uh, 12, okay. Oh boy. Oh, okay. Uh, I should have paid attention there, even though we still got the hole shot somehow. Not really sure about that. <laughs> All right, so let's get moving. Now, one thing I did notice, uh, the de deformation of the tracks is actually really nice. Sorry, I had to pause there. I, I wasn't sure if I was going to overshoot that. Uh, but yeah, the deformation, it's pretty cool. Uh, I think you'll notice it a lot more. Uh, once you get into, like, say, the Supercross events, pretty sure you'll be making some pretty decent sized ruts. I think they really started that in Reflex. Uh, MX versus ATB Unleashed didn't really have that. At least I don't remember it in, in there. It could have very well had it, but I think the technology was not there back then. Are we just smoking them right now? I don't hear any other bikes behind me. Oh, that was an awkward landing. Oh, I'm hearing them now, but I still think they're on the other straightaway. Uh, okay, there we go. Still learning the track here. I didn't see any options for practice or qualifying. I know you have the time trials, and actually they're right behind us here, so we're really not in front of them too far. Uh, but yeah, I didn't see any qualifying or like pre-practice sessions, not unless I completely missed it, but I didn't, I don't think that's on here. Now that could just be because we're on like a single event, maybe if you go to an actual series, uh, you'll get stuff like that. Uh, this is a really fun track, actually. I miss national tracks. Uh, this is something, I like, think I've only recently played like a bunch of Supercross games, so I really haven't had national tracks in a long time. All right, oh, this looks like a pretty insane, actually, I don't think this is a hill. I think we're gonna be letting off right here. Yeah, because it just swings over. Man, if I would've held it full throttle there, we would've died. Definitely would've flown over it. All right, do we need to preload here? Let's preload. Oh, definitely shouldn't have preloaded on that. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ooh. Oh, uh, you know what? Do, uh, I know this is probably an inappropriate question. Uh, do the motocross riders, I'm sure they wear cups. Yeah, I can only imagine. Some of the, uh, some of the hits and some of the landings have got to be so awkward. 
Still trying to fill this track out and see where and where not to preload. Oh, I'm just kind of bouncing right here. Oh. Uh, still got about a second, second and a half on him right now. Uh, not too competitive at the moment. We might have to jack up the difficulty on the uh, national tracks. All right, I'm already noticing just after the uh, first lap here, you can see the ruts in the track. You can see where all the riders have been. Looks like there's two distinct lines, like right through there. That's actually pretty impressive. Uh, I can only imagine what this would look like after about 10 laps of this. Uh, we're gonna have to go try a Supercross race. And just, oh, I landed awkward there. That shot the bike over to the side. <laughs> Caught me off guard. But yeah, imagine the uh, Supercross races. This would be pretty messy. I actually really want to try that. Oh yeah, just stay in the rut there. Just try to keep that speed. Oh, oh, don't want to hop over it. There we go. Yeah, we're still uh, smoking them. Uh, we're a lot faster in one section of the track, and they seem to catch us in another section. Like, we're coming around to the big hill again uh, for the uh, finish, or actually it's going to be the final lap. And we seem to, uh, we start to stretch it at some point here. Oh, there we go. Oh! Oh, I probably should have fallen there. All right, do not preload here. That looks a lot better. Still kind of overshot that jump a bit. Oh yeah, stay in the rut. Yep, I like that. Uh, I like where it shows the intervals of like all the riders over to the left side. That's pretty cool. And over this one. Yeah, I'm not really sure you preload at this track. Maybe on that left side there was a little ramp that led up to this one. Maybe there, but I think for the most part you're just trying to stay wide open. Yeah, this uh, this groove's getting a whole lot worse when we come back through here. Uh, that's sweet. All right, we are getting close to the end here. Uh, we're smoking them now. We're up five seconds. <laughs> yeah, we're killing them. Here comes the last little bit. We're going to try to hit this jump from the inside here. Let's go about here. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Wow. Wow, we almost didn't land that. All right, come over to the finish. There we go. Whip it. Oh, wait, what? <laughs> Oh, yeah, I shouldn't, I don't think I should have been able to do that, and what the heck. Hey, we got like a little, uh, victory, uh, victory lane here, we'll call it that. Alright, so you can see we've earned credits, so I'm assuming we can go ahead and start looking and buying some new bikes and stuff like that, so. Anyways, uh, let's go to another single event here. Alright, for our next event, we're gonna be doing some Supercross at Las Vegas. Uh, if this is the track layout I'm thinking of, we'll go in and out of the stadium if it uses the actual uh, Monster Energy Supercross layout. Here we go. And on the inside here. Wow. You know what? It almost feels like we're getting too good of a jump there. That's going to be our second hole shot of the game. And yeah, I really probably shouldn't be getting those. Uh oh, 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 here we go. Coming into the stadium. I uh, got a whoop section here. Actually, that's not even a whoop section. Oh, oh, this is an awkward rhythm section. On, uh, uh, kind of slow over this last one. There we go. Oh, oh. All right, we got this. I warn you, uh, Supercross is not my strong suit, so you're probably gonna see many, many screw ups here. And I'm seeing some stuff on the right, the left side of the screen there. Oh, oh, it cut way harder than I thought it would. Let's go and preload here. Try to get over this little topper. There we go. Yeah, I'm trying to figure this uh, layout here. I have not practiced on here, so it's just like tippy-toeing. It's somewhat like the, uh, the layout that I remember from the uh, other game, where you kind of shoot out of the stadium, except for I think you go a lot further out on the other game. Oh, oh, there we go. Let's go ahead and clutch. Uh, yeah, they're still there. Okay, so hard, they're definitely staying with me now. Uh, there's still like two difficulties above this, I believe. I think there's like, I know All Stars one of them, but I believe there's one other one too. Uh, let's go ahead, slow down here. And I got passed up. And one thing I noticed, it seems like the riders are cleaner. Uh, they used to be a an issue in a lot of the early MX games. Uh, I remember they would go down in the first corner, and it would just be just pure chaos, death, and destruction. It was terrible. But it, they definitely do seem like they're getting through a lot better. Of course, I got the whole shot, but just seeing some of the things that I saw, I didn't see a bunch of bodies flying everywhere. So I feel confident that they've actually cleaned that up a bit with the AI. And Oh, got to slow down here. Hey, oh, really? All right. Let's get up over here. Oh, I'm going to under. Oh, that's under it. Out. 
Yeah, that looked like it hurt. All right. Let's see if we can get up behind Jessica Patterson. I don't know if they have any real... Oh, really? That was actually my fault. I came across whoever that was. I was going to blame them, but I'm going to have to uh, actually take responsibility there. Oh, I see a rider just went flying. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> All right. I can assure you some of the crash physics are still wonky, but that, I think that's pretty much a standard for a lot of these games where you see people flying through the air. You see just some crazy stuff. And actually, we're really... Oh, we almost got killed there. We're really competitive at the moment. Uh, this feels like a, a pretty decent difficulty for me. And, oh, thank you. Uh, thanks for sideswiping me, buddy. You know what? We're just going to pass you here, preloading. Uh-oh. Oh, probably shouldn't preload it right there. Kind of run into you a bit, run you off the track, almost kill your character. It does seem like there uh, isn't as big of a hitbox on the actual uh, riders themselves because it seems like I've been able to kind of almost slide through people and not knock them over. So maybe that's what's helping with some of the uh, accidents. Uh, uh oh, there we go. Which place are we in? We're in fourth. Our fourth place. Don't preload through here. Do not preload. Okay, hit the brakes here with the last one. There we go. I'm starting to get it a little bit as far as the rhythm for this track. Uh, let's go up here. Ooh, that felt good. Uh, try to get on. Oh, yeah, it's. I think that's where I screwed up last time. I keep screwing up right here. I should really land on top of that. I have a bunch of riders going over my head here. I'm trying to see if the ruts are really bad on this track. I can see some forming like right there. Kind of crossed over them there. Oh, this is fun. This is really fun. Like, I'm going to play this even after recording. Uh, let's see. Oh, no. Uh, let's try to cut it. Oh, I just killed all. Actually, those don't feel heavy at all. That's probably a good thing for me. Some, uh, sometimes the little barriers on the tracks, uh, they're really heavy in certain games where it just kind of flips the bike over. Uh, they're really forgiving, I, I can say. I ran right through those. Oh, I ran through those too. All right, I'm starting to get off rhythm here. All right, kind of speeding through the outside section here. I need to make up some spots. We're starting to get kind of spread out here. Come on. Okay, I'm pretty fast through here. Whoop. Wide open. It's a perfect section. There we go. Hit the brakes. Ooh. Ooh, that was almost too much. All right. Caught the next rider. They're still in a pretty tight group up here, so I have a chance to get a couple more spots. About to come up to the final lap. Oh, that guy wiped out in front of me. Oh, that killed my momentum, though. All right. I hate this section here, so we're going to go over this first jump. Hit. Can we make it over? Yeah, we can. We don't have to land on top of that. All right. There we go. Whoa. I was going to try to whip it there, but <laughs> decided to not scrub off speed. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on. Come on. I got to get it. I got to get a rhythm here. Last lap. Oh, no. Yeah, I'm going in between the jumps right now. Oh, let's go. <laughs> oh, that felt good. Come on. Come on. Come on. Uh, if I can get over to that one section that I'm really good at, I feel confident that we can maybe take home a sixth place. We can get these two guys in front of us here. All right. Oh, and we're screwing up some more. Come on. Get over to the other side. There we go. There we go. Starting to get some speed here. Just keep a... I'm going to keep a wide line. Keep the momentum up. All right. Cut to the inside. I'm so glad those little blocks do not hurt. All right. Here we go. This is where I'm faster than the uh, AI, it seems like. Oh, no, 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 no. The jump's off. Ah, oh, dang it. Yeah, I was off rhythm there that time. You normally just go wide open there, but... Oh, no! No, get back on the bike! Dang it! That's the one time the block actually killed me. No! Oh, this sucks. Oh, come on. I can't lose any more spots here. No, 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 no. I'm off rhythm completely now. Oh, it is all falling apart. Oh, falling apart to last. Are you kidding me? That's crazy. <laughs> that was really fun, though, I must say. Really fun. All right, here we go, Austin. Open cross. So we're going to be doing the UTVs. Now, we probably should do these on a national track, but I don't know. There's uh, These are pretty cool-looking little tracks here in the stadiums. This is not a Supercross track, by the way. 
This is just almost like a, a built for big vehicles track, and these aren't really that big of vehicles, but still. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. There's way too many, too many cars trying to fit into one area. Let's take the, uh, actually, I was going to say, let's take the outside here on. Uh, come on. Oh, wow. We are behind right now. All right. They are in a big cluster, though. I feel like we can uh, sneak some people here. Let's go. Snipe up the inside. Oh, oh, oh. oh. We will hop. All right, do the same. I'm assuming the same rules apply, like the preloading, the clutch. Oh yeah, yep. I think the clutch is working. I don't know if we really need a preload on anything. We might try it on the uh, the start finish line. Looks like it's got a big jump. Oh, uh, we are absolutely killing the blocks here. And uh, check out the uh, the ruts. Oh wow! Actually, here we come to the start. Oh, they're everywhere. It's corner looks all messed up this is awesome Whoa. all right we got really sideways there I need to pick up the pace here we are uh, really far behind oh, let's go up the inside so you clutch it a little bit yeah I cannot Wow it just lagged really bad off that corner it just did not get going at all uh oh got a pile up up here there we go that was worth a couple spots yep. oh, got another one looks like it's slow up here too the AI is not afraid to get into each other. I'll tell you that. Uh oh, let's go up the inside. I kind of want to try these on like a big flowing track. This little tight tracks. Yeah, well, it's, it's just a little tight track. I want to see something where we got some big hills and stuff, and I can't get this block off of me. Uh, do they have what's the cameras like here? Uh, do we have an inside? Oh yes, they do have an inside camera, and I can't see. Oh, I think one just. Oh wow, one just landed over me. That was cool. Oh yeah, this is pretty sweet. I don't know if they had a. Uh, like an inside camera for the other stuff. Do they have trophy trucks in here? I'm just now I'm getting hit with flashbacks from some of the other games. I don't know if there's trophy trucks yet. Uh, that was one of the really fun things from the other games. Oh, they piled up here again. There we go. That's a couple spots. Actually, I think we're lapping people. I have a feeling some of the AI is actually stuck in that corner. Yeah, we're only up to fifth here. There we go. Let's get this taken care of. It seems like the blocks respawn really quick. And oh, look how damaged these corners are. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Come through here. Oh, yeah, this is awesome looking. Oh, oh. That rut actually shot us off sideways. Look how deep the ruts are there. That's crazy. All right, I'll take a fifth place for the first time doing that. All right, here we go. Waypoint race. So, this is going to be in one of the free ride events. And just shoot across the track is basically why is everybody else in ATVs and I'm in the dirt bike? Maybe it's because this is the only thing I have unlocked? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I got the whole shot. All right, I'm really afraid. I, I think I should be. Am I faster than everybody else? Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, dear. So, yeah, this is just get to the point whichever way you can. And there's no set track, so you're going to run into stuff like that where he's kind of, I don't know, flying in the middle of a jump here. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, this is not good at all. We really need to be in a car for this. Oh, let's see if we can try to find a rhythm here. I don't know if there really is a rhythm here. It's just go straight across. Uh, here we go. Shoot over to this. You know, one thing I missed uh, from Unleashed, uh, like the, I think it was the stunt planes and the helicopters they used to have. That was always kind of cool. Uh, here we go. Where's the next one at? Okay, over here. All right, we've retaken the lead. I should probably quit holding it wide open. That's one thing that really uh, I noticed it annoys people on <laughs> like Supercross videos is when like you come off the jump and you're just hammering the throttle and it's just screaming. Uh, I'm really bad about doing that. I should probably let off a little bit. There we go. All right. Uh, I think we've got a decent little lead here. Oh, wait. Where's this one at? What the heck? Oh, that was almost like a 180. Come on. Oh, I really want to get over to the road there because I think it's on the road. Yeah, it is. All right. Here we go. Uh, halfway through the race here. Uh, oh, yeah. We can take the track here. Now we can really carry some speed. Stretch our legs a bit. Uh oh. Oh, crap. It's over to the left. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, what? Did we just bounce off the tree? All right. We're good. We're still good, I think. Uh, let's see. Where is it actually at? All right. Shoot through the trees here. Yes. Okay. Going to turn over to the left. Uh, watch out for the trees. Oh! Oh, wow. Almost just George of the Jungle into that tree back there. 
Uh, let's see. Launch over here. Oh, that's some air. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Yeah, it feels like we're cutting through this now. This is nice. Very nice. All right. Uh, let's go through this one. And the finish gate's going to be 800 feet. Oh, yeah. All right. As long as we don't screw up here, I think we're... Oh, yeah, we're definitely ahead now. I think we uh, really got through the course in some sections. We might have actually skipped about where the AI was going to go. That was sweet. Uh-oh. That's tree. Almost hit the tree. Wow, that was cool. All right. Well, what do we do next? Uh, I feel like we've pretty much showed off most things. Uh, the Nationals, uh, we were quite a bit ahead of everybody else. I guess I haven't driven the ATV, so we should probably end it off with something like that. All right, here we are. We're in the ATV. And this is, a, uh, you know, I said the other free roam area was my favorite, but this little moto ranch is actually really awesome. Plus, it's gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous out here, and it's got some really good uh, tracks. Uh, you got almost like a, a national style track right, right through here. You got an extremely huge jump right here. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that looked like it hurt. Ow. <laughs> kind of overshot that a bit. There we go. Yeah, I've never been as big of a fan of the ATVs. Did the ATVs even ever get their own game? I don't know if they did or didn't. I know there's... Oh, geez, there was another... Oh, I didn't see the ramp on that side. Yeah, the ATVs... I don't know if they've ever had their own game. I know there's been ATV games, but at least by the creators here. Uh, very possible, though. Uh, let's shoot over this. Oh, there's a lake over there. I don't think we want to end up in that. Uh, oh, we got like a little nice trail around the lake here. Let's try to lean in a little bit more with the uh, ATVs here. Yeah, it feels awkward because it, it's not like the bike. It doesn't like catch and fling you over to one side. It just kind of does this almost like a lazy drift. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Actually, no. I guess we're going this way. Oh, that's going to be a big jump. Oh, no. That's a tree. That's... Oh, in between the trees. Oh, that was sweet. How big is this area, by the way? Seems like... Oh, out of bounds. Okay. It's that big. Just answered that question. All right. So, we can go that way. There is some uh, little events I noticed in this one. And, of course, you see, the, like, the little... Uh, I guess those are cogwheels or gears up at the top. You can try to jump and collect all those. I don't know what you really unlock. Actually, you might get money for those. It's very possible. Oh, oh. Let's go ahead and go a little, uh, let's go a little first person here. Oh, yeah. Oh, this would make me just absolutely sick doing this constantly. I used to try to do these games in this view, and it would just, it never worked out for me at all. Uh oh. And a, a part of it is not being able to, oh, ow. Okay, that's, <laughs> that was a little too forgiving. Uh, it's not being able to figure out exactly how lean forward or backwards you are sometimes because the head movement almost doesn't seem like it's really accurate with it or the head's kind of moving a different direction than the uh, the vehicle is. So yeah, this has always been really hard for me to do it in this view. It's a little easier in a mode like this because everything's really big jump wise and pretty forgiving. But if you go to like a super cross track, I cannot do first person at all. Actually, is that mud? Like liquid? No, it's just sand. Uh, you know, we really need to go just tear up a corner real quick and wrap this up. All right, we're going to tear up a little area here. But yeah, uh, we might play a little more of this uh, on the channel here. If it's something you guys would want to see more of, maybe some sort of event, career mode, or if there's anything you guys just actually want to see here in the game, you can always comment below. We're going to make an extremely large rut here because we can. Just kind of show you the uh, the way the ground deforms. That is cool. Uh, all right, so we made the rut there. Shoot around. Can we just kind of run through it now? Oh, yeah. And just kind of run through the rut. And... Oop. <laughs> yeah, but overall, as a package, I, I must say I do like it. I do feel like this is kind of a return to peak form for the series. I'm sure there's things that can be improved on. Uh, I'm sure we'll, I'll find some things here very soon. But as far as the first impressions, I'm pretty uh, pretty happy with the game. And like I said, I do want to thank THQ for sending me a copy over. But yeah, it's available on Steam. It's available on the uh, console. So if you want to go pick it up, go do that. I'll link the Steam copy down in the description. But yeah, hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you guys next time. Thank you.